How many missionaries do you think it would take to reach 20 million souls? Bienvenidos a la Sierra de México. Welcome to Mexico City. Mexico City is the largest megapolis in all of Western Hemisphere. It has been called the urban giant, the home to 20 million souls. It's staggering to think about it, but there are as many people living here in Mexico City as there is living in half of Central America. Just think the population in one city of what would be the, the entire countries of Honduras, Nicaragua, and Costa Rica put together. Sadly, there are only a couple dozen independent Baptist churches to reach the population of what would be three entire countries of Central America. Just imagine if a flood of Christian workers would come here, what God could do in just 20 or 30 years time. Mexico City has the same sad human story as you can find everywhere of alcoholism, drug addiction, broken homes, juvenile crime, and even religious superstition, but on a much more epic scale. But if the Word of God would have free course here in Mexico City, just think what the Word of God could do to restore families, to break the chains of alcoholism and drug addiction, to disperse the darkness that is caused by religious superstition, and to convert young people from serving lusts to serving the living God. Mexico City has great potential as one of the chief cities like in the days of Paul, like Ephesus, to reach an entire province for the Lord. It could be a great platform as the educational center, cultural center, and political center of Mexico. And that's the burden and calling of our family, the Reardon family, to be able to touch the entire nation for God. After having seen two vibrant soul winning churches established in the suburbs of Mexico City, where they have their own national pastors now and their own buildings paid for, Ron and I were led here to the heart of the city, which is a few blocks away from the Army's largest military base and Army headquarters. This is where God has called us to reach the military. As a former Marine, God has given me a heart for the military in Mexico City, and that's why we're here trying to reach them. In the fall of 2004, 20,000 invitations were given out into the homes all around the area. And then we had our first evangelistic meeting for a whole week. Over 150 people came to that very first service. And Luis, who became our first treasurer of the church, was saved that very night. Later on in the week, we had our first inaugural service on Sunday. Two people were saved, and one lady who had been saved previously was baptized. 35 people continued to attend. And that's how Liberty Baptist Church was started. Growth was slow in the first six years as people would come and go. But in 2008, by faith, we challenged the people to raise money to buy a building in an excellent location just across the freeway from the military base. It was a daunting challenge as the owner wanted $300,000. In two years, our people raised $20,000. And then after years of prayer, in 2010, God did a miracle and gave us $40,000 for a down payment which was able to get us into the building on a rent-to-own basis for a year. After that, our small congregation of 80 people were able to purchase the property. As the church has grown in the last four years, we've had to remodel the church twice to accommodate the people. In fact, in this last spring, 18 new adults were saved through our evangelistic services for five weeks. And they have continued to attend and have brought out their family members and the church has grown even more. Three years ago, we started bus routes, and because of that, we've seen growth in the last two years from 130 to 200. We have a unique ministry as a quarter of the members of our church are military. We've also have had members from every continent in the world, as we have many embassies just around the corner from our church. Another interesting part about our ministry is that there are thousands of Jews that just live within blocks of our house. In fact, many of them have been reached and even attended our church. We feel like in the last 12 and a half years at Liberty Baptist Church that we have just laid the foundation for what God wants to do in the future. We praise God for what God has done in the past, but now we want to press on and reach new areas for the Lord. That is why I'm challenging our church and I've given them a goal to begin a new mission in this area. Now, Calpin has 850,000 people. We already run three buses through the area. But what it really needs, and what I'm challenging our church to do, is to take that next step 
and begin a mission here where God can grab a hold of people's hearts, where there's a beacon of light that can reach down into this dark area of sin to reach a lost generation that has been allured by vices, vices which have captivated their hearts. Mexico City is divided into 16 delegations with almost a half a million people in each delegation. In our delegation, Miguel Hidalgo, there are almost 350,000 people in 76 neighborhoods. Neighborhoods such as this one, an apartment complex with 88 buildings and 7,000 people just living within 200 yards of each other. We have already knocked the doors of the homes of over 300,000 people in 70 neighborhoods, from barrios of the poor to the most exclusive homes here in Mexico City. There are other delegations here in the city that still need to be reached, and that's why there's a need to have missions and churches that can reproduce themselves in these same delegations in our city. And thanks to your support, we'll be able to do even more than what we have done in the past. Praising God for what he's done in the past, we are pressing on in the present, and we are planning for the future. We already have several Bible Institute students graduated and serving in several churches in the Mexico City area. Presently, we are training Oscar. We'll be filling our pulpit in our absence. Upon our return from the States in 2018, we plan to talk to the military men and challenge them and even the students in our Christian school to give themselves to full-time Christian service. That is why in this furlough, we are praying and we want to challenge people to come down to Mexico City to help us to train nationals and help them to saturate the city with the gospel and start churches in each and every delegation that's here. The challenge is daunting, but the opportunity is here and now. We are praying that churches will catch this vision and send their finest to help us in this great task. There are millions of people in this great city and a lifetime to reach them. But we are willing and happy to spend the rest of our lives in this great calling to accomplish the great endeavor to reach the world's greatest city for the Lord.